Darwin looked to me like photos I'd seen of Hiroshima and Nagasaki after the A-bombs in 1945. It was that sort of carnage in terms of infrastructure. I feel if I don't hang on to these children so tightly, one of them is going to be ripped out of my arms. The first big gust that came ripped the roof off. We stayed and that kitchen table saved all our lives. There were a few of us left on the ship and a decision was made that we would have to jump into the sea. That was a, an awful decision and at that stage I thought that myself and those who were remaining would not survive. The city was shattered. Lives lost. General Stratton, a leader with a tough job. Captain Johnstone, a beacon of hope. The combined efforts of the Navy, Air Force and Army brought Darwin back from the brink. A city is reborn, but a question lingers. Why were over 8,000 Australian service personnel who undertook the nation's largest peacetime operation in the aftermath, not adequately recognised for their heroic rescue mission.